classic. This map is already pretty tough, so we'll just go mild. That'll be fine. Let's just go with the standard. It's been a long time since we played this. That'll do, pig. That'll do. You can choose between these different races. Beast mode. It has a pig. The wisps indicate the direction of the uh, mobs. So let's build a pig. A frog. Pierce. 400 range. The range is pretty abysmal though. That puts me off building a pig. Hermit crab. 500 range. Ooh. You choose from your altar what hero you want as well. Okay. We'll work on that in a moment. Ground and air. Ground and air is the safest. Hermit crab then. 500 range. That should be enough to reach around as it goes. And maybe a frog as well frog on the done. other side. Now let's see. Hero panda. Oh, it's got to be panda, isn't it? Job's done. Another round? First wave. Get your towers in quickly, boys. This is one of those maps where it's just kind of like survive until you get killed. It's kind of brutally difficult. Panda is up. So you control the panda at the same time and defend against the mobs that leap. Looks like we've got a couple of Nagas. Doing okay against the first wave. You can see the scores of your actual tower as well. How much damage it's doing. You'd have to have insane macro skills though to be able to pull all of this off. And keep an eye on everything efficiently. Repair the castle. This is the castle. You can actually buy potions and stuff from it so you can carry on casting spells. Energy generator from wave 5. You can increase the damage done. Or the damage you deal to crit counts. Here you can buy tones. So you can pimp out your hero as well. Depends on how much you want to focus on your hero versus how much your towers. You almost always keep leaking anyway. Activate to restore your hero's health by 40%. Do splash damage. 60 seconds to clear before the creeps become more powerful. So we can go to the creeps, I think, if you go to the castle. I'm going to buy the 190. Special scroll dust. Oh, there's a send feature as well? Oh my goodness. Yes, there is. So that's what you use your lumber on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, there's so much. There is so much of this map. It's ridiculous. Okay, so how do we go to the forest? Because I thought you used to go back to the castle and click on the forest. Ah, five gold. To do it. Okay. We'll just try to kill these, I suppose. Until you have to start defending your castle. But you're already defending it. Some people are behind defending it, so I guess I'll creep. Maybe. Although, whether it's better to do this or stay defending the castle is debatable. The map is definitely not f noob friendly. Without a shadow of doubt, yeah. They're, they're neutral ish until you start attacking them, so things like Breath of Fire don't actually do damage until you start hitting them. So it's a bit harder to really impact these guys. Maybe I should have gone hmm, all stats or something. He's going to die soon. I think if you went to the top left, you can escape. But I'm honestly not seeing... Yeah, I think it's top left. Maybe even top right. Almost leaked, but just about managed. Can I get through the next stage there? There's the snowy owl. Another round. How do we escape? You've got this time to kill the creeps. It's easier to do as a group, I suppose. I actually don't know how to escape, so I'm just going to basically fight these mobs and get myself killed, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I thought there was an escape point in the corner place, but maybe not now. An 
I've still got the same towers as I had in the first level, so I don't think I'm going to clear them. Oh, yeah, don't forget to send. Heroes back. Got some frogs for some reason. Get my pig. Merge with a frog to probably gain his attack damage. That's pretty funny. Definitely starting to leak now. Ah. So it's tough, like, you already start leaking. What do you do? Just focus fully on the hero or focus fully on the towers? Flex is out, he's had enough. It is a lot to take in, but it, it's harder because you pretty much start leaking within like the first few levels as well. You get more gold from towers, you think. Alright. What to build there? Upgrade the frog. That uses up my gold. I think the premise of the map is pretty cool, like because it's doing a bit more than your average tower defense or hero defense, such. But it's a little bit much. There's such convoluted stuff to do, you know. You got all of this as well, so you can automatically harvest, which is on. You can increase the harvesting rate and all that kind of stuff. It's like Legion TD, it's everything. It's a bit much. I'll probably go back now. I think everyone's struggling. That's just the nature of the map. It's just who dies last is really the question. Hundred gold to repair the castle is a lot. Because it's twenty percent health bank. Yeah, I thought it's a neat map. We haven't played it in a very long time, so it's always good to show it again. This is a good map for maybe uh, a LAN party or something, where you would have time to study and understand the map and play it a few times, so you could have a good enough game. But. Maybe you have to play it on a really easy difficulty, and then that way you can more realistically actually kill the waves and play through the map. I thought we did have a fountain as well back in the old days. Though, yeah, we're kind of... Maybe this can heal. Hmm, doesn't look like it heals. You can get time of strength, that kind of heals you with the stats, the health regeneration, but... You guys think it's still better to get towers? Three thirty gold. Yeah, you, it's a bit hard to build towers because the cost is... Just, like, it's, you can't even build it, really. Leaks gave one gold. Creeps give four gold. Hmm. Just focus fire. Our forces are under attack. Ah. 
job done. Our forces are under attack. You see this? Ah. Oh. Hey. Oh. Another round? You see the little arch. Name your husband. Interesting names. I was saving up for like 330 gold tower. I think you just gotta focus fire. And kill whatever you basically can. And then good luck to you. Get the wolf now. Shall we go creeping? Oh, yeah, you can also buy stuff from here. Oh, it's only 280 gold for like 20 strength from that. But then again, only 280 gold is like a huge part of your budget for towers. These guys just team kill each other. They're not helping in the forest. Okay, this one. It takes ages to kill a mob though, whereas you could just defend and get guaranteed gold from that. Yeah, six gold for like 14 hits. Doesn't seem super, super hot. I can't even get to the circle. The way the creeps work are really weird. I think they could be done a lot better. You could have your own individual creep lane or something that you can enter, and you can just click on a button to spawn a creep and then fight the creep or something. Rather than have these mobs that are sort of neutral and you can't really hit them properly. And then if you fight one, you end up fighting like five of them at the same time. Probably best to just die actually. Let them kill me. Oh, too late. I'll just go to the forest and get myself cured. Can upgrade the wolf with a little bit more gold. Although I've got to spend gold. Maybe, yeah, just mass frogs XD. Frogs spawn a permanent frog in the base after his first kill. Frogs can't spawn more than 20 frogs. Ah, so you can't mess them too much. You can get a few, though. He's got ultimate now. Oh, you actually might regen. You either regen when you're just born, or you regen in this location. Alright, up against the swordsman. Oh, I forgot to send again. See, yeah, there's so much to keep a tab on, isn't there? Might save my storm earth and fire for the forest. 
You regen when the round is over. Uh... Also, that reminds me. I've got some frogs here to use up. Omega frog. Seems quite strong, actually, the frog. Let's hope you don't lose it. Got less frogs that time. Thank you for the raid. We're playing Hero Strive TD, which is too much, to be honest. These are the units I'm sending, I guess. Thank you once again for the raid. Hope you had a nice stream. Uh, four, seven, six gold. I guess I'll upgrade the Hermit Crab, or just get more frog upgrades. Lol. There you go, spent my gold. I put it on your tab. Let's send him off to the forest. Oh, you could defend again. Nah, try the forest. You have to do like a lot of everything in this map. Oh yeah, these guys do some damage. What? Oh, this is one of them on their team. I'm not going to lose to a Blade Master, am I sure? This is my ultimate. There's no way I can lose to a Blade Master. Which one's the real one? I have to keep one of them alive. Otherwise, uh, game over. Yeah, Blade Master OP. What the hell, bro? Right, there's my big frog. Got to absorb all these other little frogs. Build up the power of the frog. Oh, he disappeared. Just I got stunned by the Wendigo. So good creep in the forest. Nat. Our hero has fallen. I'm struggling. I am struggling. You're trying to manage towers. You're trying to manage defending your castle. You're trying to manage creeping. It's like overkill. Maybe I should spread the frogs. Ah, you got different armor types in these heroes. You got fortified. much longer. My poor frog though, he can't really do much. I thought he was uh, he was gonna save the day. On the bright side I managed to kill more mobs. Oh, you can't make the frog any stronger. Ah. Jeez. 
Jesus. I think we're going to die soon, to be honest. That's all my gold spent now, trying to help stop the mobs. Because obviously if you stop the mobs from leaking, then you don't have to fight them over here. So there's an incentive to do that as well. Yeah, you may as well just go into the forest and get yourself killed, I think. Not sure the frogs are really that good. It seemed cool. Sort of like, you know, building up a powerful frog with that damage, but uh, they attack really slowly. And they can be sniped by all those ranged mobs quite easy. Yeah, you probably can. Yeah, you increase the regeneration, which means that you can, I don't know, use the mana and turn it into lumber, which is then more lumber to send units with, etc., etc. Oh my gosh, I could barely kill the first mob. This is a specially strong level, but there's not so many of them. Have one on the house. Is trouble brewing? I'll give it a shot. Another round. Let's go, Justin. Our forces are under attack. Name your party. I'll put it on the house. These frogs are mine. They're part of my tower. I get units from it, which is quite a creative thing. If they get on their third kill. That'll have to do, pig. Team 2 with 19 leaks. I mean, the panda's got Drunken Haze, which is one of the best abilities here. So the mobs have a chance to miss. I think his ultimate kind of sucks. Five hundred and thirty three gold. Eight hundred gold to upgrade the hermit crab to an elite. Most of my other towers are upgraded. And then it's like twelve hundred gold to get the other ones, so good luck with that. Replenishment potions for free. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I remember that more from the original one. I used to play this a bit more often. Another round? It's one of those free items you can buy. He's trouble blue. I'm surprised we're still alive, to be honest. See, you could reduce damage taken from creep camps by 25%. I'm not sure how long that lasts for. Or it's just an item that sits in your inventory, so you can creep. You could have one player go and creep more often. 8% lifesteal. I don't think that's enough. You need a lot more than that. You're better off just getting mass strength. Or even armor. Another round? Armor's really expensive. Oh, there's a boss. Ah, oh, I was just about to buy some items. Oh, good luck, boys. I think everyone can fight him, right? Look, Looking at this. Do they come from the other angles? Yeah, they do. Total reward is 800. We'll just stay back. There's, like, no incentive to go in there. <laughs> Strong yourself, reducing breath of fire and drunken haters cool cooldown while drinking. Oh, 
Get that Croy wheel. It's just pure chaos. I can take some damage here because I got the heal. Get him, boys. I bring pandemonium. I'll put it on your head. Now you're in danger. Oh, Gotta be a bit careful here. Have one on the house. Where's my boys? If not, I'm gonna have to use Storm Earth and Fire. I'll give it a shot. Get him. That's one down. Who else is left? Blazing Dawn. For the Blazing Dawn! He's got these little peasants. I guess there's only the boss left now. And there's no chance of killing him. So that's it. They're invulnerable, the peasants. He's invulnerable. Oh. Our hero has fallen. There's no way we were all going to just immediately attack the boss and not touch each other. There's zero percent chance that was going to happen. Okay. Do I save up for the penguin tower? That's what you should do. Do you honestly think that was ever going to happen, though? Right. Can almost do a night. You guys are like, yeah, just kill the boss and you all win. That'll definitely happen in a situation where everyone's hostile to each other. Oh, boy. So naive. We're actually still living. I thought we'd be dead earlier, so I guess the map's about the right difficulty, give or take. It's just kind of confusing how you're sort of supposed to lose. Do you know what I mean? I need like 30 gold. So I've got to go and into the forest to get... F oh, no, never mind. I can get penguin. Penguin time. It's got an aura, so I'll put him over here. Increases nearby enemy human movement speed by 12%. That's basically his deal. I guess. Can't really notice it very easily, but... Rock. Rock. It's 1,200 gold for that tower as well. It's not cheap. If they're moving slower, you wouldn't notice it. <laughs> You'd think it'd be like a 30% movement speed slow or something because it's kind of clunky. Like, you can only put in certain spots. You can't really reach everywhere considering how much you could place. 
Increases tower's attack rate depending on its attack range. So I guess there's a bonus to put in on those islands, but of course, if you do on the islands, it only attacks one spot as well, which just, I don't think it's as good as just putting it in the middle. I mean, I've done quite well here, to be honest. So. I guess we save up for the flying sheep. It's specialist McEE. -E. 3,000 gold. I think we can live not long. Ready for action. Another round. Another round. Is trouble doing? Another round. Is trouble doing? It's hero line. Plus tower defense combined. It's like all sorts of things. I can't remember which specific ones. A little Legion TD a little bit. Kind of. Farm TD in the sense of like how the maze almost looks a little bit. Ask your team to feed you. Nah, nah, everyone should just play as they play. What will be will be. But you could just feed one player a mega. That might be the strongest way to play the map. Bomb shop, you can do raid waves and earn lumber. Yeah, you got stuff. Oh, you got like a boss type character here as well. Oh my god, you can spawn bosses and stuff. There's like, there's too much to do. It's nice to have it, but there's too much to do. Also, this is an insanely strong level. I can't really use my frogs, they're gonna get destroyed here. Maybe I should just die now, so I can respawn. As long as you got one player up, that can survive. You guys leaking a lot or something, because we got a hell of a lot of mobs to kill here. Zero leaks. Not the best thing. Maybe I should sell one of these frogs. Just so I can have a better position for the sheep when I build it. Obviously, if you clear this quicker, then you can go into the forest and creep. Why well, she got time? Also, I should spawn something here. A skeletal archer. Seems cheap. Looks like the first one in quotation marks. Off he goes. The challenge has started. Let's hope I can actually kill him. I'm. Hmm. Get him, boys. I'm going to have to focus him pretty hard, otherwise I don't think I'm going to kill him. Name your poison. Another round? Is trouble brewing? You see the little heart. Oh. 
if this guy gets through, I'm going to be like, oh man, this sucks so much. He's going to get through, isn't he? For fuck's sake. God damn. <laughs> At least he got killed. A 40 experience for that. I could barely kill it. How does that even work? Mr. Kodo. I guess I didn't kill the Kodo. Someone spawned the skeleton boss as well, but they didn't kill their one. Well, I, I'm too scared to try any of the other stuff then, if that was supposed to be the easy one. How, this is like wave 15. We're quite deep into this map at this point. Forest. Now I can kill loads in the forest. It's not a bad idea to yeah, try to get the sheep now, because I'm floating all that gold. Oh, free gold. There we go. I can get it in no time. It is what it is, boys. I was going to sell this frog anyway. Let's get that sheep. It's bloody pointless creeping, honestly. It's the, I don't like the creeping system in this. It seems so... Blair. You see the little heart. Sheep is out. Oh, he's got a thousand chaos damage. Twelve percent chance that attack will teleport the enemy unit to the starting point. Does not work on the challenger. That's pretty good. You could use that on the high health mobs. You'd have to be micro and then targeting with it though. And if you don't get the 12%, then you're just wasting your attacks on a mob that's not going to die because you're hitting a high health one as well. It's uh, debatable. I saw my towers. The sheep can't be upgraded. Neither can the penguin. So I've kind of built whatever I can build tower-wise. I don't know what's the best one other than maybe the frogs. Also, just buy stuff on your hero. The problem is, is the frogs have to get a kill, right? And it's every third kill. So it's not guaranteed they get the kill. Uh. Well, whatever. At least they're doing damage anyway, the tower. Worst case scenario, it's still doing something. Let's put one on each of these. Job's done. Job's done. Trust in the frog. You see the That's right, party people. Get this party started. Wolves get stronger as a pack. Having four wolves gives each wolf ten percent attack damage. Having eight wolves gives each wolf 12... 12 oh, I guess you could stack wolves as well as the sheep. Because the wolves get stronger every time you have a wolf.
Eight wolves gives each wolf 20% attack damage and 200 attack range. Which is pretty good, actually. So I might go for the wolves. Because at least those... I mean, the frogs are obviously still quite good. That is what I would build otherwise, but the, there's still some sort of value to building wolves. If you see it. They don't attack air. Yeah, well, we'll just have to take the hit on that. Wolf on wolf violence. Doing quite well, actually. Panda's abilities are all good. Breath of Fire, Junk and Haze, and the ability to heal himself. High armor could be good for that one. The healing brew. You could just stand there tanking. See, I'm not seeing many frogs now, so I don't. I think the mobs are too high health. It's, it's much less chance that the frogs are actually getting the last hits. Oh, and don't forget to send, yes, because I forgot to send for ages now. Always forgetting. You get more of a reward if you don't do this manually. If you don't do this automatically, by the way. Because <laughs> you lose five mana on the conversion. So if you were super try hard in it, you'd be manually converting the lumber every time it gets to 49 or 50. And saving yourself five mana. Can you imagine doing that on top of everything else you're doing? It's not like everything is in the same space. It's in the same place. I'll stack them up. Or I'll back up a bit here, to be honest. You can stack wolves on the islands, it's a meta strat. Alright, I'll put a couple of wolves on those islands as well then. For the meta. See, my frogs can do some damage whilst the panda's tanking as well. If you get 700 range, it might be able to reach all the way over to here. Ah, oh, my frog! Ah, back! It's stunned. It won't move. They got a really weird move animation. I lost one of my super frogs. Feels bad, man. That's a lot of bat riders. Jeez. All I can do is tank and then that's it. GG. I can't even get my ability off a second time. I don't think we're going to live much longer. Value frogs. I got two upgraded ones. I got two unupgraded ones. That's so four or five. Name your poison. Have one on the house.
Is trouble brewing? I'll give it a shot. Easy. I'll give it a shot. Job's done. The wolves can 700 range now. That could just be because they're on the island as well, actually. It says it gives them like 70. I don't know, actually, no. There's four, and there's two upgraded ones, so that's definitely eight. So I've got enough now. Problem is, is what do you build now? Back to frogs? I don't know. Or just mass sheep. Oh shit. What the fuck? How'd you leak this much? I only had a few leaks from my lane. That seems more than there should be. My frogs are all dead, by the way. They just got, like, insta gift. So, yeah, the frogs don't work. They've fallen off now. Get over here and kill Sansel. Another round? Have one on the house. I have one on the house. I'll put it on your tap. Yeah, I'll just save up for the sheep, I think. Now. Even though this sheep's probably shit, but what can you do? You could do the mass wolves on the islands. But again, they don't hit air, though. But they got such long range, they can reach. Wait, does he not get the range buff? Oh, he does. Invade enemy from creeping area. Might be an item. We came from behind. Decimating the levels, actually. Absolutely destroying them. What's my anti-air tower? Well, they're all ground in there. 
Hmm. Might be in trouble here. We definitely... Oh, they got a hell of a lot down there as well. I think this team seems to be doing a bit better than us. They got less. It's going to take forever to kill these. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Just keep doing that whilst we buy mana pots or something. It's only a hundred gold. Just run, and run around a bit. Try not to get hit too much. And then rinse and repeat your spells with mana pots. I think that's the best we can do here. Feels like my spells aren't doing much damage though. They gotta have so much health, man. I've still got mana to use, so I've gotta use that health part. Well, I've got my spell, but I'll take damage. I have to wait until someone else is up. And then heal over here. And then we've got maybe time for one more breath of fire. Nope. We're going to be the first to die though. That's it, keep going. This is ridiculous. You're only two. How are you still doing this then? Don't forget to get your replenishment pots. To be fair, I blame my teammates because I don't leak this many units. It's time to do another 40 experience. That'll get me level 24. He's almost dead already. There it is. Level 24 in the bag. Secured. Snug as a bug. Bolster creeps. I don't like the sound of that. They're getting stronger. We need to kill them faster, boys. I'm spinning all my gold just like buying pots here. The ult isn't that great, but yes, so if I had another replenishment, I would have taken it now and used it for me ult. I can die now anyway. I've done what I need to do.
I bought time for the team. Job's done. Yeah, the creeps sure do be getting bolstered. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. It's time to do another boss. Quick, the pig. The pig! Yeah, we got the pig. What else can we do? We could probably do this guy as well. I don't know, actually. When's the next wave start? Doesn't say. Right, oh, okay, 15 seconds, maybe not then. Got to send some units, boys. I didn't know you gave me the item. This is how you do it, lads. Divine armor. Oh, my God. So you do need more sheep. Quests might have the answer for that. Oh, nice. He sent it all the way back to the start. Pog sheep. in this custom a lot longer than I thought we would be. This little guy does freaking like 2,000 damage. Have one on the house. I'll give it a shot. Well, you could buy items here as well. I couldn't even see that. Just wait three minutes. My ult will be back. Damn it. Oh, dear. Hodor. XD. Oh, wow. GG. Are you healing it? <laughs> Did someone just spam healing it there? How much money did that cost you? I, don't, I can't remember even how to do that. Alright, need to kite now. We should be dead. This guy's healed up. This is not good. Quick, time for the boss. I think we're in trouble. Why are we still alive? Oh, 
Oh, this is where you repair, is it? I can't even... Yeah, well... That'll do! I can't believe the other guys are still going! Me and Soap were carrying that game. Dark Mega and Legolas were dropping the ball. Maybe that helped you flex leaving the game. I wonder if it did. Because they seemed to have an easier time, Team 2, didn't they? Maybe the less players on your team, the easier it is. I'm not sure. Or maybe they're just amazing at this map. I'm not 100% sure either way. Okay. Well, that is Hero Strife TD. Definitely a map, definitely an experience.